Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the question dances. The uh, it's easy version. And yeah, let's go to the question ones. In the question, they have given us two arrays A and B. And like in one operation, you can do like you can remove an element from A and an element from B, or only an element from B or only an element of A. Now after like after removing these all stuffs, we are left with k k size array. and like we need to say uh so we left with k size array such that uh, the ai is less than equals to less than bi for all i in 1 to k so now we need to say that how many minimum operations uh, we would need so that such stuff happens also we have been given like for this easy version the value of m is always 1 so yeah let's not look at these all stuffs these are all mentioned for the ones uh for the uh, like hard version of this question okay so they have given like for a the array a the m is always one that is the initial element the first element is always one and rest all elements we need to take input from the user so yeah let's understand the question in the question they have given us that the, we have two arrays a and b the first element of a is always m now and for this question m is always one okay so they have given the first element of array a as one and they have given some other elements of array a which we need to take input and we need to take input of the array of elements b so these both arrays are of size n okay so now what we can do is we can reorder the elements of a and b by like any how we want we can reorder it in any order we want like we can reorder a also we can reorder b also jumble kar sakte hain hum log now we need to say that how many elements we need to delete from a and b such that if we are left with k elements after deletion then ai is less than bi for all i in 1 to k i hope the question is clear right every element of a agar hum log usko uske corresponding b wale element se compare kare to wo element chhota hona chahiye so yeah this is the question so understand one thing like agar हम लोग मान लिए सपोज लेट सपोज आफ्टर डिलीशन वी आर लेफ्ट विद दिस के साइज एरे ओके वी आर लेफ्ट विद दिस के साइज एरे आफ्टर डिलीशन एंड ओके सो दिस इज एरे ए एंड लेट सपोज दिस इज एरे बी सो जस्ट टेल मी वन थिंग द मिनिमम एलिमेंट ऑफ एरे हम लोग क्या चाहेंगे इफ वी वॉन्ट ए आई लेस देन ई बी आई सो हम लोग क्या चाहेंगे कि ये ए आई जो है दैट इज अ मिनिमम एलिमेंट ऑफ ए आई शुड बी लेस देन वन ऑफ द मिनिमम एलिमेंट ऑफ बी आई इज एंड इट लाइक अगर आपके पास एरे वन टू फोर है लेट सपोज दिस इज एरे ए एंड लेट सपोज एरे बी इज सम टू लेट सपोज टू थ्री फाइव नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू डिलीट मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स ओके सो अगर आप वन के साथ थ्री ले लोगे दैन तो प्रॉब्लम है ना यू हैव दी प्रॉब्लम राइट इफ यू मैच वन विथ थ्री लाइक आफ्टर री ऑर्डरिंग एंड डिलीशन यू फॉर्म एरे समथिंग लाइक दिस लाइक वन थ्री टू फाइव फोर टू इन दिस केस आपको इसको डिलीट करना ही पड़ेगा बिकॉज ए आई इज नॉट ग्रेटर लेस देन बी आई सो आप ऑलवेज चाहोगे यू वुड ऑलवेज वॉन्ट लाइक दिस इज अ ग्रेडी अप्रोच इज एंड इट लाइक यू वुड ऑलवेज वॉन्ट दैट ए आई फॉर एनी ए आई यू हैव द मिनिमम पॉसिबल वैल्यू इन बी सज दैट इट इज ग्रेटर देन दिस वैल्यू इज एंड इट आई होप लाइक यू आर लिसनिंग माई वर्ड्स लाइक द मिनिमम पॉसिबल वैल्यू इन बी ग्रेटर देन दिस वन मिनिमम पॉसिबल वैल्यू इन बी ग्रेटर देन वन इज एंड इट लाइक आप चाहो तो वन के साथ थ्री को मैच कर सकते हो वन वी मैच वन विथ थ्री सो फॉर टू वी आर लेफ्ट विथ ओनली वन ऑप्शन राइट फाइव सो या वी कैन ओनली मेक के साइज लाइक टू साइज आ रहे बट वी नीड टू मेक फॉर मिनिमम डिलीशन अगर हम बोल रहे कि वी वॉन्ट मिनिमम डिलीशन so after deletion the size of the array should be maximum isn't it matlab k ko maximize karna hai man because if you are deleting two elements you have size suppose 3 so if you delete one element from both the array so the size will be 4 isn't it so you need uh, when we talk of minimum deletion we talk of maximizing the value of the uh, size of the array after deletion so yeah if agar hum one ke sath like from for one if we match it with 3 and for two if we match it with 5 then yeah we need to delete this 4 and 2 but if we match this 1 with this 2 this 2 with this 3 and this 4 with this 5 then we need not need to delete any of the elements right 
So okay, so this is the approach we are going to follow. Since we can, since we can reorder the elements in any way we want, what we will do, we will short our array A. We will short our array A. We will also short our array B. We will short our array B. Now for every element in A, like we will go from left to right. For every ele element in A, we will uh, try to find out the element greater than least element greater than this element. So what's the function we can use? Yeah, you guessed it right. It's upper bound. The smallest element greater than this element will uh, uh, be provided by upper bound. So what you will do, you will let's suppose uh, when you find this, you find the value over here. Let's suppose this is the index. So when you come for the next element, in which array you should find this upper bound value? Just tell me in which array. You should always find in this remaining array, isn't it? This array may find cutting, you know? Q. Let's suppose why not entire array and only this array. Let's see how. Why? Let's suppose we have array A as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when we talk of array B, it is something like 1. Okay. Now 3, 4. Okay. So when you will uh, find the upper bound of 1, you will get 3 as your answer. So yeah, you will match 1 with 3. Now when you find upper bound of 2, you will again get 3 as your answer. But you can't match 2 with 3 since you already matched 3 with 1, isn't it? So always while finding the upper bound, you will always find in the remaining array. How we can shift to remaining array? While using the upper bound function, we always started with v.begin, isn't it? So we will just change that function to v.begin plus some previous value where we found the answer. Previous value plus 1. We will always start with this. This is the previous value, previous index. So when we start with v.begin plus previous plus 1. So we will always start from the next point. So yeah, this is the approach. Uh, let's code it down. Okay, so we need to take t test cases. Then we need to take the value of n and m. Though the value of m for this question will always remain 1. Uh, but yeah, we are taking the values. Okay. So now let's take the inputs of two array. Like we have two array A and B. And for A, we are uh, already given its first element. So we already so we only need to take its n minus one elements. So yeah, let's take it. And for B, we need to take all the elements. So yeah, we took the element. Now the next step is we will short the elements in A and B. Now we will maintain a previous value. Like now our answer is zero and we will maintain an answer. Okay. So this answer tells us that how many elements we have taken till now. Till now we have taken zero elements, right? In that case size array. Now we will, what only we will do, we will travel in this uh, array A, okay, so we will find the lower bound, uh, sorry, upper bound, index of upper bound in this B array, so upper bound, upper bound in this array, but uh, we will start from where, we will start from B plus previous, okay, so we are starting from B plus previous plus 1. So for that, what we need to do, we need to make previous as minus one, isn't it? Because initially, we B plus zero se start karna chahte na. So yeah, the initially we are at minus one, isn't it? So B plus previous plus one, comma, uh, B plus n, that is the end. And the target is nothing but A of i. And we will, for finding the index, we will just subtract B from it. Okay. So if we find this index as n, if this index is found as n, just tell me, if we get index at n, this means if we get the upper bound, like when we found the upper bound of 2 and we got like index n, this means there is no element which is uh, greater than this element. Therefore, for any of the remaining elements of A, we will not get any element in B which is greater than uh, the corresponding element. So yeah, we can't keep any more uh, numbers in our array. So what we will do from here, we will break. And if this is not the case, we will just uh, increment our answer. Yeah, we can take this element and we will shift our previous to this index. Okay, once we are done with this, now we have taken answer number of elements in our case size array. So what are the number of elements we need to delete? Initially, we had n elements. 
we have taken answer element so yeah n minus answer is will be our answer that is the number of elements we need to delete uh, let's try to run this once let's copy the cases We are getting one, two, three, and four. Yeah, we are getting the wrong answer. Let's check why. Okay, we took the input like we have not initialized a of zero as one. Like a of zero is one, we know, but we have not initialized it. Like for this question, a of zero is always one, but in the coming question, like it's the harder version of this question, a of i, a of zero will be i for each i from one to m. So yeah, that will be a, going to be a good question. So yeah, we got zero one four four. Let's try to submit it. Let's try to submit it. Okay, it's working. So yeah, I hope you all got it. If you have not, just uh, write down your doubts in the comment section. Uh, you can uh, like join my Telegram channel for like daily doubts, uh, DSA champs, and yeah, uh, that's all for today.